beginning piano students want to play more than just the holiday melodies. No matter what their age, they want a big sounding mature arrangement. And this big sounding Jingle Bells can be taught by rote, reading, or a combination of both. The main part of this Jingle Bells is in an easy C position. Easy patterns in the intro and ending make this piece easy to teach, easy to play, and a great way to make elementary level students feel mature. Get Jingle Bells and other rote and reading pieces only at ComposeCreate.com. I just wanted to share with you a few tips on teaching Jingle Bells wrote and reading by rote. The first has to do with this really fun pattern at the beginning. You might be thinking, oh, I don't know if they can get that syncopation. I don't know if they can get that rest. Well, children love to be challenged to do something. And it's really great to challenge them when you know they can do something well. And so asking your student, are you very good at patterns? And of course, they're going to say, well, yeah. Then can you re repeat this pattern after me? How about this pattern? One, two, three, one, two, three, one and then they repeat it after you, and of course they do splendidly. Well, how about this pattern? One, two, one, two, one, two, three, and they repeat that one. All right, now here's the one that's really hard, and here's the one that I really want you to see if you can remember. Are you ready? This is the challenging one, and they're waiting with bated breath, and you say, all right, here's the pattern. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Oh my, that was a little longer. Let me repeat it one more time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Can you say that back to me? And have them say it. And usually they do great. And if not, then you can say it back to them. Have them do it a couple of times and then say, all right, we're gonna take a break and I'm going to have you play a completely different piece. And then we're gonna come back to it and see if you can remember it five minutes from now. And then that challenge makes them really try to hold on to that information. So you come back to it five minutes from there and guess what? That pattern is the pattern of the G's and the A's in this particular piece. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. That is going to help remember exactly what they're supposed to play. Another tip has to do with the whole rest. We know that students are almost always going to shortchange that whole rest, right? They're never gonna hold it for four beats. And so it's suggested in the music that instead of actually counting one, two, three, four, which is very boring for children, um, instead of doing that, have them say the words jingle, jingle. So, jingle, jingle. actually say that out loud. We wouldn't necessarily want them to say it out loud, but if they have those words in their head because you've been saying it, they're much more likely to hold those rests for the full four counts. However, if they don't, if they shortchange it, guess what? It's okay. No sweat. Let them have fun and let them feel exceptionally accomplished at playing Jingle Bells. Get Jingle Bells Rote and Reading and other Rote and Reading pieces only at ComposeCreate.com.